This is an interesting technique for making collage papers using Citrusolve Cleaner and National Geographic magazines. From what I've read, National Geographic gives you the best results, although it can be very unpredictable depending on the age of the magazine, the amount of Citrusolve, etc. I do recommend that you work on newspapers and wear gloves, especially when you're uh, turning the pages to check it because uh, the ink can get all over your fingers. The way to apply this is just to take the Citrusolve and you can do a couple of things. You can poke a hole in the top of the uh, sealed thing underneath the cap and sprinkle it on or what I like to do that gives you a little more control is to dip an old brush into the Citrusolve and just kind of scrub the pages. You want to turn them individually and look for the ones that have the best colors on the pages. With any luck, you're not going to be able to recognize the images, but the colors will make interesting patterns. So open the magazine, find a page, apply the Citrusolve, turn the page, put on more Citrusolve, and so on until you reach the end of the magazine or the end of the pages that have colors on them. Then you want to close up the magazine and let it rest for about 15 minutes. It's really tough to tell how long the process is going to take, but in 15 minutes you can start seeing changes. You can see in this picture that a lot of times you'll start seeing the changes, but you'll still be able to see the images that are underneath. And you have to remember, even though this looks really neat and you might want to use this altered image in your own work, it is a copyrighted image and as long as it is a recognizable photograph, you really can't use it under copyright law in your own work. If it's significantly distorted, you probably could, but be careful unless you have uh, completely obliterated the image with the Citrus Solve. A lot of times you're going to get a, an interesting smeared effect. You can see in this particular photograph how it almost looks as if it's blurred, but it's really not. That's the pattern that the Citrusol has made on the ink. And as it dries, that pattern will stabilize. In this slide, you can see that even though we've put on a lot of Citrusol, it still hasn't made much of a pattern, that most of the page is still visible and it's still slick and shiny. Again, that could be a function of the age of the magazine, of the type of ink. Lots of things can create different effects and so again you just have to experiment. You can see here that it says which years are the best to use and in my somewhat limited experience I've had the best luck with issues between 1980 and 2010. But, um, but again, you know, there's so many variables, um, you're just going to have to try it. I do know that the really old issues from the 20s and 30s and 40s don't work well because they didn't have the same kind of inks that are in the more recent, uh, the more recent issues, but they're interesting to look at. In this particular slide, you can see that there are a lot of different effects that have been achieved, everything from kind of complete obliteration to bubbles to a text block there that has hardly changed at all, and these were all from the same magazines. All of them are interesting and all of them are workable, but they're very, very different. And in this last slide, you can see that here are a bunch of these pages drying. Usually when you pull the pages apart, the Citrusolve has softened the glue enough so that you shouldn't have to tear them too much. Um, if the pages stick together, which they surely will because the ink is sticky, you're just going to have to play with the edges and sometimes tear them a little bit so that you can peel them apart. And finally, here is a collage that was made with a Citrusolve paper. You can see that you can, if you use your imagination and choose carefully and combine these papers with papers that are a little simpler, you can achieve some really, really nice effects. So that's how to do the Citrusolve paper. I wish you luck.